What is something every real estate novice should know? There are so many things, uh, here are just a few. Buy the worst house in the best neighborhood, uh, that's on the first place. Not the best house in the worst neighborhood, it's a glitch, but true. The neighborhood and location comes first. On the second place I put, if you are here in a house, understand that there is a substantial difference between rehabbing for a rental and rehabbing for a buyer. You will spend a lot more rehabbing for a buyer, you must know this. On the third place I put, if you are rehabbing a home, always keep the end customer in the mind. Don't rehab to your tastes, rehab for what the enter or buyer wants and expect in that type of property. On the fourth place I put, if you get pre-qualified and pre-approved for a certain amount that doesn't mean that's what you should spend, that's the absolute maximum. Do you own calculation on what you can reasonably afford to, to spend? They don't accept that even if it's substantial below your pre-qualified and pre-approved amount. On the five place I put the individual real estate agent is far more important than the brokerage he or she is with. Choose the agent not the brokerage. That's fire. On the sixth, I, I, I say when buying, always get home inspection. Always. Even with new, new construction, the home inspection won't catch everything and may in fact miss some important items. But always get a home inspection. On the seventh place, I said uh, when buying, always buy title insurance for yourself. Your lender will require that you buy title insurance for the lender. That's to protect the lender. You absolutely need title insurance yourself to protect yourself. You must protect yourself. On the eighth place, I put you understand that everything is negotiable. That goes from your agent's commissions to the price of the property. So Suppose property has a listing price of $200, the agent advises you to make an offer at near $200. That may be good uh, prof professional's advice, but feel free to offer less, sometimes substantially less. On the ninth place I put, if you are buying, always better represent by your own agent. Some buyers think that if you don't have the, their own agent, they will somehow get a better price. That's absolute fa false. The commission has already been negotiated between the seller and the seller agent. agent. That's not going to change. Whatever you have or don't you have your own agent. Advice. Then, please, I put, you understand the real estate agents aren't primed to offer legal advice unless they are liars. On the other hand, uh, few liars know much about real estate beyond the law. That is, don't expect liars to provide advices on the prices, offers ATC. Understand the role of each. And 11. When buying, understand that's important and what's not. A house paint and car, car rating aren't important. They can easily be changed. However, room position and traffic is quite important, can be very expensive to change. The size of the yard and where it's in relation to house replacement can be very important and can be changed. On the other hand, the, the Placement of brushes and floors isn't as important as usually can be easily changed. At first time, home buyer doesn't need the latest stainless steel appliances and granite control troops. They're nice, but you can easily get by with less. With less. If you like this video, please like the video and subscribe to this channel. Bye.